Hi everyone, this is the intravenous pilogram of the kidney, ureter and the bladder. Now you see why this intravenous pilogram is done because the kidney, ureter, bladder they are the soft tissue shadow. They cannot visualize in the straight x-ray. So to visualize the difficulty in the um, structure of the calyces major, ureter and the urinary bladder whether there is stone or not, whether there is constriction or there. So one should push the intravenous injection in the region of the cubital fossa, the superficial veins near the cubital fossa and the put the dye which is absorbed near the region of the kidney and the ure ureter and the urinary bladder. So this is a very nice uh, descending pi pilogram or the intravenous pilogram. Here you will see these are the major calyces. The major calyces you will see. The major calyces and there are cup shaped small minor calyces you will see. This is the end on view of the calyx. Then you will see this is the pelvis of the ureter. Then the ureter descend downwards. There are some normal constriction of the ureter. And you will see here the ureter passes the pelvic brim. When it passes the pelvic brim, there is another constriction. So at the pelvic ureteric junction, there is constriction. When it passes the pelvic brim, there is constriction. And it, when it enters the urinary bladder, there is another constriction. So this is the view of the ureter, which is 26 in centimeter in length. And you will see the urinary bladder fully absorbs the dye and you can visualize the urinary bladder is also normal, ureter is normal, calyces are normal. Because if there is stone, there should be the filling defect. So this is how we can study and you will see the ureter when it descend down, it descend down near the transverse process of the lumbar vertebrae. So this is the descending pilogram or intravenous pilogram. The ascending pilogram is performed the dye pushing through the urethra and which also delineates the structure more clearly. So thank you everybody.